Hello, hello, my beautiful people. How are you doing? Afri Moms, I am bringing you yet another program, another episode. And today I have got a lady all the way from Ghana. Can you imagine? This is where Afri Moms is going to. And we are showcasing, we are spotlighting businesses for women, businesses that are run by women in Africa. And women are busy, guys. If you've not watched, please watch our previous episodes and you'll be shocked what people are doing from different countries. We've had Botswana, South Africa, Zimbabwe. Please like, comment and share our, our YouTube channel so that we can grow and you can also connect with me. But having said that, I don't want to take your time. I need to welcome Deborah. Welcome, Deborah. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How is the weather in Ghana in this new year? Well, the weather is good. I mean, it's good. Unlike in previous years, it used to be very dry. But then, yeah, I think um, today we are enjoying the better weather. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So, Deborah, tell me, which part of Ghana are you from? Um, I'm from the Western North. From the okay. Western North. But oh, wow. Yeah, currently in Accra. Oh, you're currently here in Accra. Yeah. Okay, I've heard I've heard much about Accra, but hey, Deborah, let me not take your time. Please introduce yourself. Let uh, the African mompreneurs, let the women in Africa know who is Deborah. Why is someone talking to this woman? Who is she? All right. Um, thank you so much for having me. Um, my name is Deborah Ando. Um, thirty-five years. A mom, single, and a nurse, and then I'm also an entrepreneur. So I'm oh. not just into packaging food. I'm a full-time nurse. Yeah, and wow, it's okay. wow, wow! I, I, I am like I am intrigued. You, you are a nurse. And then you run your business. Guys, I told you, listen, what are you doing? Let me know in the comments, what is your profession and what else do you do? We are, are going to understand more about uh, Deborah, about uh, her business. So tell me, tell me about your business. Tell me the name. Tell me what you do in your business, Deborah. Okay, so the business is this Food this food and um, the business is just um, almost a year old. We are not yet a year, but we are almost a year old. Yeah. And then we are into cereals, cereal for both kids and then adults. Yeah. And then our cereals, are, we use um, organic cereal for our products. We put them together, we dry them, and then we dehydrate the ones we are supposed to dehydrate, and then we put them together um, to make a cereal, which you make into porridges, and then you enjoy. Wow, wow, guys. Deborah, tell me, how, how, did, how did this business come about? I mean, why, it sounds so complicated. How did, you, how did you get to start, and you are a nurse? Come on, yes. tell me more. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's quite complicated, as you said. Um, it was my sister that, was, that first introduced me to that product, yeah. She has kids, she has older kids. So when she started weaning her babies, um, I was watching how she feeds them. She initially, she used to prepare the cereals by herself, Um she uses, she used to use rice and then other cereal. She fries them and then mills them and then she makes porridges out of that. So when I also had my child, um, I, she introduced me to it and then we happened to chance upon someone who was producing them in large quantities. So we feed my, we, we initially fed my child with it. We had also fed other babies in the family with it. So I realized that, and I ate some myself and I knew how it tasted and then how the kids loved it. And then, you know, their growth part was um, quite different. 
So I told my sister, I, I want to give this a try. I want to give this a try. So she encouraged me. Um, the start was quite <laughs> uneasy and, you know, by the grace of God, we, we, we are on it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, so, so what type of cereals are we talking about here? I mean, we, which products? Okay. So we use, we use rice, we use carrots, you know, we use vegetables and then sometimes we use fruits as well. So we use carrots, we use um, wheat, we use millet, mm -hmm. we use dates, the okay. fruit dates. We use yes. Apples. Yeah, we use apples. We use a um, banana. Okay. Um, okay. We use oats. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Coconut. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. Wow. So, so you get. Um, tell me the process. Tell me the process. How? How? Uh, uh, I, I, you know what? Like, I'm so in my mind is blown away by all this. So, do you get this stuff? Like. Um, do you get um, bananas and then you produce, you, you, you grind them yourself or what do you do? Do you, do you have some machinery that you use? Um, how are you doing it? Yeah, so um, there is a machine that dehydrates um, some of them. Okay, like, okay. Yes, like the apples and then um, the tiger nuts, they have to be dehydrated before you can use them okay but, um, okay the rice and then the wheat you only have to apply some heat so you kind of roast it you know so it's kind of pummeled that is it yeah okay. and oh. you mill them we mill them so oh. depending on the fruit um the cereal sorry the cereals you want to use like i have rice and carrots as one product, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you um, mill the two after dehydrating the carrots. You mm -hmm. mill it with rice into powdered form, very fine powdered form. Mm -hmm. yeah. The rice we use the very local rice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. when when a child is when a child is eating this, you do you add water or do you add milk? Yeah, you add milk. You know, when you prepare it into porridge, you mm -hmm. add milk, and then sometimes, depending on the age, you add either sugar or any sweetener. Okay, okay, okay. Dep depending on the age. You know what? Your business sounds like it's capital intensive. How did you get the startup to, to do this business? Because now you're talking of machinery, you're talking of having to buy the wheat, having to buy the rice and these dates. Um, how did you get the start up for your business? Well, um, <laughs> as I told you, I had to do a lot of survey and I had to do a lot of introduction to other people. Yes. So when I realized people were interested. I initially, I mentioned, I chanced on someone who does a, a bigger production. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Had talks with a person and then I made her aware that this is it. I am interested, but then I cannot find it. So I would need her help. Yeah, mm -hmm. so she was a good person and she still is a good person to me. So she produces majority of the things for me. Okay. She produces them and then she brings them to me here in a car. So I would just bag them and then brand them. Okay, okay. So um, your, your, your food, uh, like these cereals, I understand in this type of a situation, you have to brand them and you have to package them. So tell me about that process. Now, um, you, you also, how, how are you packaging them? I mean, you put them in, in containers, you put them in glass, how are you packaging them? Yeah, um, I have containers, I have um. The bottle, um, the plastic bottle container, and then I have the pouch, um, okay. which is a, an envelope type. Yeah. So these are the two major um, packaging that I use for now. 
Okay, okay, okay. And um, your your branding. So how are you? How are you marketing? How are you marketing your? What are your marketing strategies for for the growth of your business? I know being here on Africa Moms, it's one of the marketing strategies, eh? Because you're going to reach a lot of a lot of women from all over. But what are some of the marketing strategies you are using? Yeah. So so basically, I am on social media. That is where I do most of the marketing. And then I, I, I also give to some um, pharmacies and I, I make um, banners, okay? So I, I keep sharing on Facebook, on WhatsApp, so my friends see them and then they also resent and then they also post on their statuses so other people get to see my brand on um, other people's status so yeah <laughs> it's, wow. it's, it's wow. <laughs> yeah that is a major problem yeah all right okay so tell me tell me what are, what are some of the challenges that you had to overcome in, in building your business i know it's only one year but uh, what are some of the, the the challenges that you've had to overcome yeah so i, I would say the first problem or the um, financing, you know, it's not easy to start a business like that. It's um, it's capital consuming. Mm -hmm. We we are doing it gradually. Yeah, we are doing it gradually. We hope to get there someday. And um, <laughs> so, sorry, so, sorry. So yeah. So um, it's and then um. Let me say labor, labor. Since the business is not um, fully grown, I haven't been able to employ people to help out, especially with the packaging and then the branding and the seal. So I mostly do everything by myself. Do wow. Everything. Wow. Yeah. Neck breaking, trust me. It's neck sure, breaking. Sure, sure. You, know, you know what? So tell me about your typical day. What is your normal day like? Because with, with you, being a mom, uh, being a nurse, now being a, a business entrepreneur, being a, a business woman, and this looks like it really needs you to be there. What's your typical day like? Yeah, so my typical day is quite um, cumbersome, I would say. But then mostly when, I, when I'm up, if I'm on duty, if I need to go to the hospital, then it means I have to prepare my child very early, drop her off at school. And God be said, good her school is right opposite my workplace. So I just drop her off school and then I enter the workplace. I work, we close, I pick her up, we come home. So that would be like, you get home around 4 or 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. If I have to package or I have people to do deliveries to, I, when I close from work, I do the packaging. That is when my child is asleep. So mostly I do my packaging in the evening. Okay. Or days when I'm off duty, then I dedicate the whole day for packaging of okay. my food. Okay. Okay. Oh wow. 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 Deborah, you know. <laughs> I am like so so in awe. So your food, um, what 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 expiry dates? Like how, how long do they what, what's their shelf life? Yeah, so it's um it's the shelf, the shelf life is one year. Okay, the shelf. okay. All right, okay. So any, any plans, like this is a platform where women from all over Africa are going to be watching you and looking at you and saying, wow, that. So any plans of you expanding to, to other countries? Not even, like, I don't know if you've done Ghana, if you finished the whole of Ghana, but what are, what are your plans going forward? Yeah, um, I have plans to actually expand, and I cannot do this alone. Yeah, um, need other people to come on board because um, I definitely do not know everyone. Like I don't know people from other walks of this um, this yeah. world, like other countries and stuff. So, I mean, I'm open for business. Whoever is interested, whoever is watching Sambo TV and is interested in, you know 
going into business with me. I do wholesaling as well. I do wholesale. So what I'm doing right now is um, the focus right now, as we end, um, I mean, in this 2022, um, is to get a food and drug certification, which um, yeah, I've spoken to them. So we are in the process of trying to get a certification for have foods. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, we are hoping to enter into other African countries. I mean, our foods are superb, they are nutritious, and then they are very good for even the aged. So I yeah. would entreat anyone that would want to enter into business with me. I mean, my doors are open, yeah. Wow, women, women out there in Africa, you've heard her. She's saying she's open for business. And this is a, a great idea, especially if you've got young children that need this kind of cereal. She talked about rice and carrots. And you, you struggle to get your children to eat carrots. Come on, ladies. Is there anyone who struggles like me? <laughs> I've got three kids and I know how it is. But then now when I put it in a cereal, you know what? They are going to eat this. So get in touch with Deborah. I'll leave her details down below. She's going to give me all her details. And then I'll leave her details down below this video. Click the link, get in touch with her. If you can't find her, get in touch with me. I'll link you with her. And let's, let's connect, let's do this. Deborah, tell me, um, what, what are the flavors? What, what flavors do you have? How many flavors do you have now of your cereals? Okay, so I have about, I think 11 of them at the moment. Woo! Okay, that's a lot. What are some of them? <laughs> okay, so uh, we have the uh, rice and carrots. Yeah. Um, I have millet and dates. Okay. Okay, I have um, rice, wheat and soya beans. Mm -hmm. I have rice and apples. I have um, wheat and tiger nuts. Wow. Yeah. I have wow. the all mini mix. That is the all mix, yeah. Okay, okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow, Deborah, okay. Be besides, besides business, what is one fun thing that the ladies can know about you? <laughs> I love to have fun. I love to have fun. I'm a fun person. Um, on my free days, um, I mostly love to be at the beach. If I'm no home, I'm at the beach and picking some fresh air. Yeah. And then I also love to read. Okay. Yes. So what are your, what are your favorite? I was going to ask you that one because I love reading. So what are your favorite books? <laughs> okay. So I have a woman after God's own heart. Yes. So yes. I think I've got that. Okay, it's an amazing book. So yeah, I would recommend it for everyone that wants to, you know, know God, every woman that wants to know God well. Yes. Yes. Yes, and then it. have you read this one? Oh, okay. It's Value Added Wife. Value Added Hello. Wife. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. By, by yours truly, it's on my website. Okay. <laughs> value added life, okay. You have a value added life. Let me, let me read a bit about what my, what my, what my pastor said. He, he mm -hmm. was like, um, I recommend this book, not only to women or wives, but to everyone who is longing for meaningful life. Are driven by a passion to see women succeed, Samu tackled their book, Value Added Wife. But as you read this book, you will discover that it will give you amazing formulas and codes to have a value added life. By Pastor Judge, <laughs> you have to get this one. You have to get a copy. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've enjoyed being with you. And I love what you are doing. I don't know, do you have any question for me? What is it that I can help you with besides you sharing your information with the women all over Africa? Is there anything that you want to ask me? Even if it's personal, it's fine. Yes, yeah. yeah, there's something I really want to ask you. So 
when, when I had a call from you, I was like, why me? What exactly did this woman see in me that she would really want to have me on her show? So now <laughs> <me too. laughs> okay. Um, what, what attracted me to you was um, like your packaging. And I saw you, you know, you, when I went to your profile, your profile was open, meaning that you're open for business. And also that you are available. What you are doing is you put tables here, you put tables there, you've got your banners. And I said, you know what? This is a woman who is serious about her business. And this is a woman that um, I will help because I've been mandated that I need to showcase and I need to spotlight women that are doing something. You might not be in the Oprah Winfrey show, but that's where we are going as African mompreneurs, right? So when I saw you, I said, this is the kind of woman that I am looking for, that I would love to have a chat with. That's why I reached out to you and said, I need to spotlight you. Women from all over Africa, this is an amazing idea what Deborah is doing. And you can do it in your own country with the help of Deborah. And that's, that's an income that Deborah will have mentoring you and coaching you. So that's what attracted me to you and said, I will speak to you. You know, we've been having these chats like the time zones and everything. It's a hassle, but where there's a will, there's a way. So I'm truly thankful that you agreed to be on the show. Annette, I'm Annette, seriously. <laughs> Annette. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, ladies, I am so proud of Deborah and I am so happy with the work that she's doing. And I believe that five years from now, when we bring her on the show again, she'll be a different woman. She'll be having employees, She'll be having machinery. She'll be having the land where she's planting these. I don't know if she's thinking of that. She'll be the one now producing the wheat and the, and the rice and all that stuff. She'll be the one doing it. This is where we are going as African mompreneurs, to empower each other, to hold each other's hand. And you know what? Deborah gets herself a free Facebook audit from Samu. I'm going to help her with her Facebook. How about that, Deborah? Sounds good. <laughs> so when you come on the show, I will come to your Facebook and I will suggest things that you need to tweak and that that can scale up your business. Awesome, awesome. I have had so much fun. Please like, comment, share this uh, uh, this episode with another woman from another country because from Ghana we are going somewhere. Deborah, thank you so much for having. For, for, for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are welcome, guys. This is Samukumi, the mompreneur, and smiling is my trademark. You know that. <laughs> <laughs>